Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I just got a brand new mic on the camera, so I might sound a little bit different. But, um, so, um, off camera not too long ago, um, I bailed that field over there. That was a really long video, that was like a 48 minute video. Which I only, I don't want my videos to be too long, but that one just got out of hand I guess but this field is mowed so we got to um we have to windrow this and maybe get a little bit of bailing so I think we'll hook the 6R or hook the um window up to the 6R maybe the door's locked oh there there we go okay so we're gonna open this door no pop in the 6R Fold the um, <clears throat> I forgot what they're called. I should know this, but um, let me make sure I got everything right on the camera. Um, yeah. All right, there we go. So, oh yeah, what am I doing? Oh, all right. So, window is right there. We're just gonna back up to this. Should be ready to go. I think I greased everything. And did all the maintenance on it. Changed some of the wheels on it too, because it was old and it was starting to fall apart. And yeah, we got the front yard mode last time too. We just have to buy a bat wing and bat wing that. And we still have to mow this field. All right, so let's unfold this right here. Right here we got big clumps of grass, so this is going to be a lot for the baler right here. I mean, this huge thing of grass and right here, and that's going to be a lot for the baler. I hope it can do it. Should be able to do it. But, um, let's back up to this, maybe, if I don't jackknife it. Um, alright, so let's see. Start her up. All right, we're we're going. So it's just now those are pretty big windrows of hay. So we just gotta um, hopefully the baler can get through this. Let's see what we're doing. Oh, I know I left the windrow on. All right, let's turn that off. Um, seems to be huge piles of grass, but I mean it's what it's supposed to do. But um. Yeah, I mean, it's doing pretty good. So let's hop back in this tractor, turn her on, and just get going. Last time I kind of went in a, I kind of just did like, I don't know how to describe it, but I kind of just like, like I did a few headlands, but I kept doing headlands um, of this grass. That's what I did to mow, but this is wind drawing, so it's different. Oh no, I forgot about that rock. Ooh, let's see. We're just gonna go this way. Sorry, neighbor's crops, and I probably just damaged one of my um like little fans. Well, I just tractors are doing pretty good. Wish I just knew how to put some of this in time lapse. I think it'd be better. Yeah, it's pretty nice. It's doing pretty well, but um, I'm just gonna run the tractor and uh, just. If I knew how to put this in a time lapse. I would, but uh, I'm gonna mute this. Uh, new uh, microphone that's on here it's so fancy you can even mute it but um, I'm gonna mute and uh, you guys can just enjoy and uh...
Alright guys, I'm back. I think it just muted my microphone. I hope so. I don't know if it like... I did not read the instructions and I'm still getting used to this mic, so... Let's just hope that it does end up muting it. I mean, it's not bad if it didn't, but... Just my dad talking in the background. He was, uh, he called me. That's why I muted, because my dad, uh, he, uh, called me and just asked me, uh, what I was doing in the grass field. And it was like, it was wind drawing, and he's like, well, I probably shouldn't be wind drawing it. It just got done raining. Not too, um, should, should be drying out a little bit, but should, should be good. Should be okay. But, uh, we're just gonna keep on wind drawing. And, uh, yeah. Alright, so we're just gonna keep, um, we're just gonna go uh, up and down now. I think we got enough headlands in. Should be enough. And this new microphone is really fancy from what I'm used to. It's very cool. Just got to make sure that I'm working it right because I am not a fan of reading the instruction manual. So I don't know if it muted my mic or not. Uh, I'm just going to, again, I'm just going to hope so. But, uh, let's hopefully go on mute, and, uh, you guys can just watch this for a second. So, um, I'll go on mute, and you can just, uh, watch this, um, watch me, uh, windrow. So, uh, I'll see you guys in a hot second. Boy, doesn't that look just look nice. Alright, so we got that uh, field, um, wind road. So, um, we're gonna put the 4440 on the baler, and, um, we're gonna get some of this, uh, baled. Maybe if we finish, we'll, uh, take them down to, um, the co-op, or, um, the farm that's right up here. Um, it's like right up the street just a little bit. It's over there off in the distance. That's barn. That's at the middle of the screen, about right. At the top of the middle. That little barn. But um that's Lazy Acres Farm. They take bales. So I'm gonna park this tractor here and then get the forty four forty out. Actually, I'm just gonna leave this there just because um i'll have to pull the 4440 back in and this is going to be tough Let's try to remember how i got this in here and out of here i think i did this try not to hit the spreader
All right, got that out. Um, now where did I put the baler? I think it's in that shed. Otherwise, I don't know what I did with it. So before we back up, just check that it's in here. Yep, there it is. It's the only thing in my shed. So I put the mower and stuff back in. I might have to upgrade to a bigger shed because this, um, I can hardly fit the mower in here and then I have to unfold it and then just floor it and try to make it in here before it uh, opens too much. So we're gonna have to replace this shed. It's not working out very well. So I don't know which shed we're gonna get. I think we're gonna get kind of a longer one and taller, but just kind of like this. Um, and it's not like an automatic door or like a push button door. It's just regular shed doors that you have to open. What am I doing? Oh my gosh, I'm going crazy. All right, so let's back up. And I barely, barely touched the top of this. With uh, the 4440. The antenna just barely scrapes that. The antenna should be fine if I scrape that. Let's connect to that. Oh, I still have hay in here. Oh, yeah, I left a smaller bale in here because I knew that, um. I knew that we were uh, gonna start baling again soon, so I just left that in there so we could make another big bale, so. Um. We're gonna get some baling in. Hopefully, this isn't too hard on the baler. All right. So, this is a little much. It's gonna be all collecting in front of the 4440. It's gonna get stuck in the... It's pretty tall. Well, um, this might not be the funnest thing I've ever dealt with on the farm, but at the end of the day, we made the bales. That's all that matters, really. Well, I mean, other stuff matters as long as something like the front axle doesn't snap or something. But um, we're just gonna get to bailing. Let's see what we can do. All right, we're going. Oh my gosh, yeah, this is not gonna be easy. Yeah, grass is collecting quick. It's already beeping at me to unload. Let's watch it unload. Oh no. Bunch of grass fell out. And I'm like overloading this thing. I'm just gonna try to go in reverse without going over the bale. All right, shut the back. And let's continue. full again. Holy. Holy cow. This makes so much in one bale. Alright. Let's go. No, we're missing a little bit. All right, um, let's turn her back on. On. Man, I'm really liking this whole agriculture thing. I'm new to this, but this is really fun. Here's a little bit 
This isn't as much grass and not as tall. Is it not going to let me pick it up because it thinks that it's in the neighbor's yard? Dang, it is. Um, we're just going to do what we can. There we go. I guess it thinks that it's in the neighbor's land or knows that it's in the neighbor's land, but this is their land. This is my land, so... I guess I am doing a little bit closer to their field, but they sh I would think that they're okay with it. But, um, we'll try to get this with the baler later. All right. Go ahead and shut that and continue. Alright guys, that's going to call it for us tonight. Um, it's kind of getting a little bit late. We're going to shut that off. Because we've got um, some things that we need to work on in the shop and that we need to get done. So we're just going to... Um, that's all the bailing and, and that we're going to get done tonight. Um, we'll pick up these uh, bales next video. Unless I do that uh, off camera. And then start mowing that field. But, um, hauling bales will be pretty quick, so it's going to be a quick video if I do it just about that. But, um, I got to work on, um, the, this 7R, it's got a front hydraulic problem that I got to work on. And then the rear hydraulic is, like, stuck, so it's like I'm going to have to, like, take a front loader and, like, bang, like, on it so it goes down it's just like not working so i don't know i don't know what's up with the hydraulics on this tractor but um we gotta look at that so uh, i'm gonna pull this uh 6r in and then uh we're gonna get this uh door shut and we're gonna start working on the 7r but uh that's gonna call it for us tonight um working on this tractor is gonna be pretty boring i really don't think that you'd want to see something that you don't that you would want to see this sorry but um so yeah this is gonna call it for us tonight um i gotta start working on the uh um on the, the 7r let me go make sure i have something i think i left my ipad in the 4440 because i might need to order some parts on it i mean i do that on my phone but um so i'm gonna grab that and uh we're gonna close out the video here and uh Thanks for watching, guys, um, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.